Hey, I'm Jeff Beer and I'm an editor at Fast Company. And this is Hit and Miss, a breakdown of the best and worst from brands this week. First up is The Miss. Supreme is one of the most valuable brands in America. And one of the keys to success is how it's been able to use collaborations to fuel its popularity. From high fashion brands like Louis Vuitton and Comme des Garçons to Nike, Champion, and the North Face, these limited edition products have helped fuel its already red hot reputation. But lately Supreme has been testing the limits and sanity of its logo by slapping it on everything from a measurement cup to an actual real life brick. Now this week comes another in the realm of the ridiculous, Supreme Oreo cookies. It'll cost eight bucks for a pack of three, which is a pretty big markup considering a pack of 39 typically goes for about 350. A day after this was announced, you could find them going on eBay for more than six grand. Six grand. Say what you want about pricey hoodies, sneakers, and bags, but at least they last. Here, Oreo's blatantly going for hype beast taste buds, while Supreme is merely testing the limits of its fans' loyalty. These cookies are both an insult to those fans and a testament to the obscene lengths our commitment to consumerism has gone. No longer just a witty, stylish street movement. This is a billion dollar brand selling 25 cents worth of cookies for eight bucks. Just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Now for this week's hit, I've got a gross moldy whopper for you. Back in his 2004 doc, Super Size Me, Morgan Spurlock put a whole bunch of different McDonald's items in these glass jars, just to see how they would decompose compared to a regular restaurants. Now, over a period of time, these things got gross and moldy, but you know, it took a while. The McDonald's French fries, in fact, looked almost pristine after 10 weeks. The point was to show the same chemicals that unnaturally preserved these fries were going into our bodies every time we ordered them. This week, Burger King announced that had taken all artificial preservatives out of its Whopper in 400 US locations, expanding to the rest of the country by the end of the year. To do it, it released this ad showing a Whopper decomposing over about 28 days. Is the moldy Whopper gross? Of course it is. And that's the point. What makes it gross also makes it better. Of course, the brand could have easily come out and just told us it took the artificial preservatives out of the Whopper, but would we believe it? Here the brand is showing its receipts. It's disgusting, furry, green, moldy receipts. Here's hoping they do the fries next. That's it for me. What did you think were the biggest hits and misses from brands this week? Let us know.